You ever see a professional chef? Probably saw him in one of these. Happy Sonic Times Day! That's right, it's the most romantic day of 2020, the release of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. We've got our tickets and we'll be well on our way, but first, we're gonna make something. Today we're cooking out of a cookbook that some of you may already own and not realize is a cookbook. Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> Archives, Volume 1, featuring comic books, but also featuring a recipe for Chili Dogs a la Sonic. Pretty sure Ken Penders wrote this recipe though, so I uh, can't promise how good it will turn out. Ha uh -huh, this guy's a little weird. I bet Michael Gallagher actually wrote this. I feel like the recipe doesn't necessarily give us everything we need to go off of, but we're gonna do our best. Step one! We're gonna brown a pound of ground beef. Today we have Mishima Reserve Wagyu Beef. Wagyu. 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 You know what, man? Wagyu. <laughs> Get yourself some meat scissors. Those are not the meat scissors. Meat scissors, there's still time for you. If you are a cook and you don't wash your hands, no one should be eating your food. This thing looks like a meat utensil. You are right. That is actually a tool that is specifically for grounding up meat. 12 seconds later. The only bad part about that tool is it kind of sucks. Well, I would have liked that information from the start. Okay, everybody, uh, today we're gonna add in a little bit of the seasoning. Yeah, this is, a uh, this is just kind of like your standard Lowry's all-purpose seasoning. Some good stuff. You can get the magic guy stuff. That guy's pretty cool. Success! All right. We've ground one pound of... We've ground one ground... We have browned one pound of ground beef. Step two. Now we are about to add a half cup each of chopped onions, peppers, and mushrooms, and brown those lightly. Mushrooms. Onions. This is gonna be sliced, uh, it just says peppers, so I did uh, a little bit of, uh, of uh, bell that. peppers oh. and uh, jalapeno pepper. You chose that. I did, I did. Stir occasionally, question mark, doesn't say. Step three! Add one tablespoon of Worcestershire. It doesn't say to switch into a pot. Which I feel like is an important step, right? Um, well, we probably could have been doing all of this in a pot, honestly. Uh, okay, scratch whatever the hell I've already shown you. Step one! Alright. Michael Gallagher. It has already failed us. He didn't tell us what kind of equipment we should be using. We're switching it into here. Start with pot. Where's the shot? Okay, here we go. Oh, that's a that's a great way to pour this out. And then take the top off. Tell me. Nah, I didn't. One tablespoon of Worcestershire. Dump it. Dump it. Crumb out. Crumb it. I dumped it. Just stir it up. Just give it a stir. Step four. Next up is one large can of crushed tomatoes. Here's the discrepancy. Large is subjective. Yeah, large is very subjective. <laughs> I grabbed the largest I could find. One large can of crushed tomatoes. Don't do it from that high. Do it down lower. Okay. Let's go ahead and... <laughs> okay. I'm wearing an apron, so I don't really care. Well, who's gonna clean the rest of it up later? Stir that in there. Give it a good old stir. Let that start simmering down. Guys, we should have been doing this in a pot this whole time. I don't know. Start in a pot. Start in a pot. That's what that's what the recipe should start with. Well, first of all, it should have a list of ingredients and the exact amount of what a large can is. Next part is my personal favorite. This is going to be um, adding eight ounces of barbecue sauce. Eight ounces of barbecue sauce. Seems a little, a lot. yeah, it seems a little excessive. My personal favorite, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. We're gonna use half of this bottle. Good lord, are you serious? Eight ounces, this is a 16 ounce bottle. Eight ounces of barbecue sauce. That's the only thing that they tell you how much? I just realized I'm not gonna be able to tell when half of it's gone. Just 
just do it that's squeezed. That's probably good. How much is in there? How much is in there? This step's a pretty easy one. You let it simmer for a half hour. Use that time to pet your cat or or whatever. It's been long week. No, a half hour. Right now we've got 40 seconds left on the timer, which means that it is just about time to follow the next step of Michael Gallagher's wonderful recipe. Shut that with the force. The next step is add one teaspoon each of chili powder. Hey, chili powder. Cumin and oregano. Do we have a teaspoon? No. No? Why do we have no measuring spoons? Uh, I broke a lot of them. Uh, just... Ooh! That's been simmering. Why are you coming over here? What, are you just gonna steal my job? <laughs> Adding more? Okay. Well, I guess it's chili powder. <laughs> Now it's time for some cumin. Sprinkle it all in there. Then we got some leaf oregano. Lethal oregano? Leaf oregano. Not lethal. I've got some loof oregano. All right, we're just gonna dash this in here. I'm a person, okay? Looks about right. Probably. Hey! Okay, once again, we are at a discrepancy with the recipe. Uh, Mr. Michael Gallagher wrote one large can of red beans. This is the only size of red beans that they offer. Also, the force is at play here. We've got the dark side and the light. Darkness rises and light to meet it. Alexa, what is the difference between a dark red kidney bean and a light red kidney bean? Dark red kidney beans are used in soups, cold bean salads, cold and chili. Salad. Light red kidney and beans chili. hold up well in soups or other dishes that cook for a long time. So basically, they both do the same thing. Bean juice. Okay, we have five minutes in one hour until we have to leave. Which means we gotta go. Gotta go. Fast. Yes! <laughs> There's definitely a color difference. I think light beans is what we should have gone with. Nine! Okay, so the recipe says simmer for an hour. We're gonna set the timer for about 40 minutes. Because we only have an hour until we have to go. That and. To the movie. The next step is simmer the hot dogs in there for 15 what? minutes. What? Yeah. What? Like, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. We gotta cook the hot dogs in the chili. That's the funniest part of the recipe. That sounds to me. gross. You're making me this for dinner. Happy Valentine's <laughs> Day. Dan. Oh, hi there. You just caught me doing a little bit of light reading of the same five sentences that I can't seem to commit to memory. We've let the simmer for approximately 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Says we're supposed to do it for an hour, but what would Sonic do? Fast. Yeah, he'd do it fast, right? I don't know, I feel like there's no way Sonic is patient enough to cook this damn recipe. It says to simmer for one hour, add hot dogs, and let the hot dogs cook for 15 minutes in the sauce. I'm going to let my own hot dog cook in there for 15 minutes. Julia's too afraid of this process. So. This is a Johnsonsville jalapeno cheddar smoked sausage. That's pretty good. What's this guy doing over here? Hey, get him off my set. So here we have one Johnsonville jalapeno cheddar smoked sausage. We're just gonna add it in, you know? Mmm, do you smell the sweet baby rays? That's all I smell. I feel like this is just gonna taste like barbecue sweet baby sauce. Rays, yeah. So I'm just gonna bury it in there. You're using a ladle? And now it's soup. It's soup. In a few minutes, I'll flip it. Join us then. Eleven. As you can see here, uh, I have uh, high techly put these hot dog buns in a toaster. We're just gonna toast them because uh, that's what the recipe recommends. We got better ways to do this, but we don't got the time. We gotta go see the movie. Push them now. Twelve. Buns are toasted. Half toasted. Which one do you want? The better one. Uh oh. Uh-oh, you hear that? Let's review the recipe. Chili dogs a la Sonic. Ugh. Brown... Does that mean like a, with a side of Sonic? No, that means like done like a la mode. Oh, yeah. What does that mean? Like, done by Edna With Mode? ice cream. No, I don't know. Brown one pound of ground beef. Add a half cup each of chopped onions, peppers, and mushrooms. Brown lightly. Add one tablespoon of Worcestershire. Add one large can of crushed tomatoes. 
Add eight ounces of barbecue sauce, simmer for a half hour. Add one teaspoon each of chili powder, cumin, or oregano. Add one large can of red kidney beans, drained. Simmer for one hour. Add hot dogs. Cook 15 minutes in sauce and put on a toasted roll. Melted cheese optional. Actually, that's Sonic's like life motto, uh, so I'm glad optional. they kept that in there. Uh, no, cheese optional. That's his life motto? Yeah, he says that all the time. All right, well, let's dish up. Moment of truth, guys. Drink it, sink it. Tastes like barbecue sauce. Uh -huh. I'm surprised that cooking the hot dog in the chili was a thing that worked out pretty well. This turned out a lot better than I expected, though. I thought this was going to be a disaster of things not being proportioned correctly. I think that the things that we did have to wing, like what's a large can, I think we made the right choices and the on that. Time. And the, yeah, and the cook time. Even then, yeah, we we this this is perfect. What's your favorite part of it? Um, the cheese. The cheese. I mean, I have The melted one. cheese optional. If you're making this at home, if you're okay with spicy, put in like a like a spicy sauce. A spicy barbecue. I think that'd be better. Also, this makes a lot of chili. Yeah. So you're gonna have enough for at least three people. All right, guys, happy Sonic Times Day. We gotta make it to the movie. Hope you enjoyed this almost recipe walkthrough video. Be sure to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, ring that bell to be notified when the Spin Dash hits. Spin Dash! Uh, these go actually extremely good in uh, Blue Box. Hot dog. What? Blue Bloods. <laughs> These go really good with an episode of Blue Bloods. Kraft mac and cheese. Yes! That's what he's trying to say. These go good in your Kraft mac and cheese. And it don't stop, don't stop, we just speed up.